strings and pair. For the first time, we are collaborating our, you know, ourselves so that we can create a group blog. And today, we will be talking about the history and evolution of media because oh, media is very important, right? Yes. 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 So, yes. what do you think media is important, guys? Yes, it is very important. It's, it's important because, especially in communication, yes, you can communicate your loved ones in other countries. Yes. yes. Okay, so now at this very moment, we'll be talking how media started, like from the very beginning before on cell phones, computers, gadgets are invented or technology they are invented. So it first started during the industrial age. So what 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 happened? What happened during the pre-industrial age? Okay, so during the pre-industrial age, so it is when the fire was already developed by our ancestors, of course, and it is when they use leaves, <laughs> they use leaves as their papers in writing. Okay, so at that time, before um, all these things are invented today, like our gadget, so before people used to communicate with other people um, through their actions or through verbal communication. But then during 3000 BCE, there was the first the first video was created. So it was um, rock carving. So during those times, those people carved their writings in a rock so that their writings can be preserved. And this is done because at that time, paper was not yet discovered, right? So that's why they wrote it in rocks. Okay, so one good example of this is the aeroglyphs. Yes, they use all these aeroglyphs. They are carved in stones. The symbols are the letters before were carved in stones. And so uh, one of the... Uh, <coughs> Um, in the uh, pre-industrial age, we have cave paintings, which are painted drawings on cave walls or cities, mainly of prehistoric origin. These are painted by cavemen as decoration and information storage. The caves where they painted cave paintings are also their homes. So these cave paintings are around 2,956 2, BCE. Right, do you remember the movie guys, The Fruits? Yes, the Fruits. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they, they used to pay, I know, to draw things in the walls, yeah, the cave. walls of the cave. Yes, that is one of the examples of cave painting. And the only one cave painting found in the Philippines is the Anguino Petroglyph. Yes, that's why we have to love our country because our country is very rich in natural, um, natural, you know. Yes, that's right. And the next one is the manuscript. Manuscript is any document written by hand or typewritten, as opposed to being mechanically printed or reproduced in some indirect or automated ways. Yeah, there are all. Writings that are written in paper mostly are from educational purposes. So, what is manuscript, guys? Yeah, I think before in the educational system, they write their lesson plans in manuscript. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so, so, since there is no paper before, so maybe they do it, um, they write their, um, their writings in. Mm -hmm. The leaves, yes. yes. One example is the papyrus, the paper, papyrus. It's a papyrus. Papyrus is like a leaves. Yes. Okay, so next is the cuneiform. But cuneiform is not so common here in our country. So it is because it is developed by the Sumerians. Okay, so the cuneiform is a system writing in a form of writing done, yes course done by the Sumerians and it is developed outside our country in Europe or, or Europe. Whoa. 
So, and the next one, you know what? During 200 BCE, uh, the first mail service was developed. So, at that time, when, example, I'm from this, um, from this town, and my friend is from that other town. So, we use horseback. Um, people are, you know, riding on horses so that they can deliver their mails from me to my friend. So, that is when the first mail service was invented. Next one is the paper and pen. So as we see here, it has developed and developed in many years. So here we have paper and pen. Writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at the black sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Jean Howard Tsai Lun invents the paper. The invention of paper drastically improved our communication experience. Alongside with writing, civilization made books, letters, and many more tools we use in modern communication. All right? Yes. 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 The next one is the printing press. So, printing press. Uh, it is the newspaper's duty to print the news and raise the The Chicago Times. The printing press was invited. This invitation sparked a revolution in communication method as it offered a lot of efficient way to spread information. Newspaper, printed books, and etc. That is the printing press. Yeah. Because you know it's very it's very difficult when you just have to write everything. That's why the printer press was invented. To make work easier and faster. Yes. And yes, by the way, the printing press is not already in the pre industrial age. It is already in the industrial age where people are now making machines. Yeah, so of course they invented the printing press because they discovered they new. Discovered new. A machine yes. called a printer. <laughs> Next, we have the typewriter. So I believe there you already see. You already saw some typewriter typewriters in your house. Yes, it is. So, it is, a typewriter is a mechanical or electromechanical machine for writing characters. It is very similar to those with printers, movable types. So, it has a keyboard, but it is not electronic. It is just mechanical. Where when you press the letter that button then the letter will appear because there there is an ink yeah. connected in the typewriter of course so it is used by writers for art and literature so some books before are published by typewriters yeah. it is also served as a form of letter writing which can of course it is used for communication because you have to write letters through typewriters but, however, the disadvantage of typewriters, especially when we are now in the modern age, typewriters are very noisy. Yeah, yeah that's noisy. And it's very heavy to bring anywhere. Yes, yeah. track, track, track. <laughs> Okay, and the next one is, who are the magazines? As, as we all know, I've already seen different kinds of magazines today. Like here in our school, we have an official publication, the Eastern Spyglass Magazine. That oh. is one of um, the best example of um, magazine. a magazine. So, um, these magazines are usually printed, yes, and electronically published. So they are generally published on a regular basis, like monthly monthly magazines or weekly magazines or yearly magazines. And these magazines are used to um, give information about things so that people can know. Yeah. Right. Have you read the magazine? Of course. There are many yeah. magazines. I read yeah. many magazines already. I think I can't remember because it's so many. Mm -hmm. So next, in the 1600, a uh, telegraph was, was invented. Telegraph is any device or system that allows the transmission of information by coded signal over distance. Used as a code maker, it was mostly known for Morse code. So, uh, telegraph was mostly used. Um, I think during it was during the World War Two when uh, 
the, the Americans were finding some other guys from the countries. I think they used this telegraph because um, phones were not mostly used that time, so they used telegraph them. Codes were sent by these devices. Yeah. <laughs> telegraph is very good, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, but after that telegraph, you know what is newspaper? Newspaper is very common to us because newspaper, it's where, it is where the, the issues and news are printed in. Yes. So, when you get a newspaper, <laughs> I'm sure I tell you guys there are more informations inside that newspaper, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. it's newspaper. Like, like today when you look at the newspaper, so you can see different kinds of you know like you can see the trending movies, um celebrity and news about celebrities, news about like current issues happening in our country or in the world, so that's it. Um um, for information, well, for information, um, the newspaper was invented or was discovered by London Gazette during the 1640s. Yes. London Bridge is falling down. Remember. Next is um, telephones. Yes, we have telephones in our homes. Yeah. So, of you course. We have telephones in our homes. But before, I believe all of us when we were still young, we used telephones, like we dial numbers, yes, and you call, take a call. And so, telephones is a telecommunication device that it permits two or more users. Yeah. Hello, then. Hi. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's telephone. <laughs> okay. So it is used to conduct a conversation when we are too far apart. Here to far apart, this wireless, the oh, yes, right. they get people connected despite the distance between them, even though they're too far. From example, when you're in America, so through telephones you can communicate people in other continents like in Africa. So uh, the communication distance became larger and wider. Yes, and it is yes, it is very important so that we can reach other people. Yeah, so that happened during 1849. During 1894, film was invented. You know what the film is? It's um film is um also called a movie <coughs> or a motion picture. So today films are very very famous in our so it is a series of images or that are put into into action so that when the viewer can see when the viewer can see you can see it. So this is also called a movie. So today we know what is a movie is what what a movie is. So and during that time before so their graphics was not still that good as today. Before the graphics was still, you know, not really good. But they use it. Um, they use um, a series of images so that they can create an illusion of movement. So that's why today the um, film has evolved, and and you can see that many like actors can already make powers like that because of the technology they have used to create. <laughs> So after the film was invented, then we have an uh, invention called the radio, which is included in the electronic age. I think, it was, I think this was the first one. So radio is the uh, technology of using radio waves to carry information, such as sound, by systematically modulating properties of electromagnetic energy waves. Radio is used by people to get updated and get connected with the current happenings by listening to the person speaking through the radio. It also has another form where, where it can be used to transmit messages like what talking, for example. So, uh, you know, these radio things are used for uh, transmitting news, for example, uh, like, uh, like barangay officials talking to each other when they are far apart, they have these walkie-talkies. Yeah. One example of the radio, 
it's very real. And I also believe that we have radios. Radios. In our cell phones. Our cell phones are radios. Yeah. But yeah. you know, radios today are not that famous already because of the new emerging technologies that have been invented by um, our scientists. Satellite, you know what is satellite? So, satellite is a useful channel for communication. Do you know why? Because, you know, satellite is a machine from outer space. So, it, it is very uh, useful. Because it is one of the reasons why we can communicate to other countries because it transmit information and messages farther than any normal means of communications am i correct right yes correct me if i'm wrong no. <laughs> so after the satellite of course you already have connection we can connect so there's these computers they evolve oh they have it they already existed so computers is a device that can be instructed to carry out an arbitrary set so of arithmetic or logical operations automatically. So computers are very complicated. They have some codes, of course, arithmetic and logical codes. <laughs> so computers are multi-purpose machines and they are, of course, they are very helpful to communication and storing information. Especially nowadays, computers are very important. They use in storing files, music, videos, they have some apps that would um, help us connect with other people <laughs> on the internet. But this time, during the 1930s, so internet was not yet discovered. So it is already Yeah, really but you can already use computer for, <laughs> computers for movies. Of course. And you can also make documents here so that you can use the printer to print your publication. <laughs> Okay, so after the computer was invented, so video tapes are invented next. So as what I have said earlier, there were days before they made films, but there was no way to store the the film that they have created. So video tapes was made. So this uh, this is a magnetic tape used for storing videos, but of course with sound. With sound. The videotapes are a form of visual storage information and can be used to present previous data stored within it. So that was in the year 1958. <laughs> First, if we shoot, then we make a film. So we just put it in the videotape so that and pub and make with many many videotapes about that film so that many people from different countries could see the film. But you know what? what? The most important thing is the internet. What? The internet? Internet. Yes. Because, you know, without internet, you can't connect to global or Facebook. If you do Facebook, you uh, search global, other, other what that it is uh, connected to the internet because internet is very important because you know it is a global system of interconnected computer networks that use the internet protocol suit yes do you understand me that is right to link device worldwide imagine that worldwide that is why internet is very important yeah, before you can only connect with that country, today you can connect everywhere using the internet. That's how useful it is. So this is how media evolved successfully. Yes. So the next one is, you know, what's the next one? It's a phone. Okay, so phones. Of course, all of us have phones. Where's your phone? It's phone. my phone. Phone. My phone is, you know, this is like that. Like, no, it's not a phone. So the thing we use in um, the thing we use now in our shooting, yes. This is a camera. This so, is not a phone. Phone. 
phone, the camera in a phone. So this is also is phone. So this is an example of a phone. So before phones are only in, have keypads, they have antennas, they're that thicker. But nowadays it is now thin. It is already touch screen. You can only touch yeah. the screen. Okay, so even phones evolve this is my phone. very much. Before there, there are no nothing like this. There you can uh, you, the phones before are keypad. But no, right now no it evolved. It evolved. The so, phone right now is this one because so, I can touch her. There's a touch screen. <laughs> so this is the most. This device is the most portable media we use today since it is wireless. We, we just have to charge this one. And packet size. Of course, we can make There's a call or receive oh. a call. We don't know. We no more use telephones. Or of course, telephones are connected. You you cannot bring it anywhere. See? With phones, you can. It is very portable. Yes, yes and you can connect to the internet using yeah. your phone. And some phones also have radios. You don't have to bring your. And some phones have eyes. You already have your cell phones. And how? So, right. Phones are both used in communicating by messaging. Of course, we text, we call, and also we can connect in the internet by by phones. Yes. And by phone. also through phones, you can see movies, films, pictures, yes. and it is also used for. It also has already has storage. You don't have to use the uh, no video case. Or yeah. Phone and you know, phone is very important. Why? Why? Because many people use it. <laughs> okay, after the phone was invented, websites were also created. So these websites are found in the internet. And it is a collection of related web pages, including multimedia content, to identified in a common domain name. And published on at least one web server. Oh. Website serves as a much more direct form of communication the internet since it focuses on one site. So so it is easier to use the internet with the websites. Okay. Website. Google sites. Google. 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 So, so next after websites, we have what we call the social media. Social media are interactive web 2.0 internet-based applications. User-generated content such as text posts or comments, digital photos or videos, and data generated through all online interactions are the life of social media. Social media is the most commonly used and popular to the millennials as a form of communication. So as examples, we have Facebook, Messenger, and also Instagram, Snapchat, and many other forms that are included in social media. Yeah, social media is very important, especially today. Even though if they ban it, people still use it. Yes, that's right. <laughs> because you know social media, Nowadays, um, it's very important. <laughs> so, without social, uh, without this um, social media, um, yes, with, uh, with social, we can media to other people. Yes, yeah. with social media, we can, we can interact. The communication is very much easier through social yes. media. According In one to her, click, then you can send it. Seconds. According to her, we can communicate. So it is connected to my topic right now because it is video call. You know what is video call? Video call is when you call something, so somebody with video. Oh, <laughs> yes. And if you have a uh, foreigner girlfriend or lover, you can use this video call. Just use your phone and then open your internet 
And then start video calling in the messenger or whatsoever that you can use it to video call, right? So that is very uh, important because people would use cameras to communicate with distant people. That's why I'm talking about right now. If you like me, call me video calls. Video calls are same as calling but has the capacity to communicate with other visually. Yes. yes, you can see them face to face. So if you miss someone, just video call. <laughs> <laughs> Evolution of media has not stopped here. Still, many other people, oh, many people are still discovering some ways to make the media uh, wider. Make, <laughs> <laughs> make the our communication and the dissemination of information faster and faster faster <laughs> after that will faster your best so, so even now holograms are holograms are used you only have to wear that eyeglasses or something glasses then you can communicate after it is connected in your brain <laughs> Just a little. So that's it for today. Goodbye, guys. Bye. Bye.